In this video, we're going to show you ATC communications from copying a clearance and taxiing to en route to landing and clearing the runway. We have help today. There's myself, a corporate pilot in real life, and this guy, also a pilot and former air traffic controller. He also has gaming videos and Flight Sim 2020 videos. There will be a link in the description to his channel. We'll be taking off from Kansas City International Airport. We're going to take off on runway one left. We're going to fly to St. Joseph, Missouri. And en route, we're going to get radar vectors, and we're going to do the ILS to runway 35. I've tuned and listened to the ATIS. The winds are out of the west at 3 knots, 9 miles visibility, clear skies, 13 degrees, and the altimeter is 299 or 2. We're going to request runway 1 left, even though they're using runway 27. International Clearance Tango Charlie Papa Delta 1 requesting IFR clearance to Sierra Tango Juliet. Tango Charlie Papa Delta 1, International Clearance cleared to the St. Joseph Rosecrans Airport via radar vectors. Maintain 4000, departure frequency be 124.7, squawk 1234. Tango Charlie Papa Delta 1 is cleared to St. Joseph via radar vectors. Climbing team 4000, departure 124.7, squawk 1234. Piper, Papa Delta 1, read back correct. Contact ground for taxi on 121.8. 121.8, Papa Delta 1. International ground, Tango Charlie, Papa Delta 1, Bravo pad, ready for taxi with information uniform. Request runway 1 left. Tango Charlie, Papa Delta 1, international ground. Runway 1 left is available. Taxi to runway 1 left via Lima and Delta. Hold short, runway 1 left. Taxi to one left, Lima and Delta, hold short, one left, Papa Delta one. You can see how I copied the clearance. I didn't write very much, but I was still able to read back the full clearance. Develop a shorthand, practice, and be able to do it in one try. If unsure of the clearance, don't hesitate to ask ATC to clarify. And when calling ground for taxi, be sure to give your location. They will not know where you are unless you tell them. Piper, Papa Delta 1, contact tower on 128.2. 128.2, Papa Delta 1. International Tower, Tango Charlie, Papa Delta 1's holding short of 1 left on Delta, ready for departure. Tango Charlie, Papa Delta 1, International Tower, runway 1 left, fly runway heading, cleared for takeoff. Cleared for takeoff, 1 left, fly runway heading, Papa Delta 1. The ATIS indicated runway 27 was the active runway. We requested runway 1 left because it was in the direction of our destination. Another reason we were able to do this, the winds were light, but if we had a strong crosswind or a strong tailwind, we would have gone ahead and taken off on runway 27. Our takeoff clearance was takeoff runway 1 left, climb maintain 4,000 feet. We'll also be holding runway heading. We're going to stay on runway heading until they tell us otherwise or we ask you to direct to a point and they give us clearance to do so. At this point our checklists have been completed. All we have to do is get on the runway and take off. And just to note the transponder over on the right is not on. For some reason it did not get turned on on this when I filmed it but it should be on in say 1, 2, 3, 4. So we'll just pretend it is. In this position, make sure your heading matches the runway heading. So at this point, low to the ground, I am hand flying the airplane. I'm not selecting the autopilot until we get to a safe altitude. Once we do, we'll turn the autopilot on, select heading, it will fly 010. We'll select vertical speed and fly that until we get to 4,000 feet as directed by ATC. The autopilot's on. We're now climbing through a safe altitude. We'll now pull the propellers back to 2,500 RPMs on each side.
Tango Charlie Papa Delta One Fly Runway heading maintain 4000 contact Kansas City departure on 124.7. Fly runway heading 4000 contact departure 124.7 Papa Delta One. Where do you have the departure frequency in the standby? All we have to do is press the switch and then call them. Kansas City departure Tango Charlie Papa Delta One 3400 climbing 4000. Tango Charlie Papa Delta One, Kansas City departure, radar contact three miles north of the Kansas City International Airport. Papa Delta One. All we did on that check-in, told him the current altitude when we were calling and the altitude we were climbing to. And then he came back with our location and then we just affirmed it. With this airplane, as we reach 4,000 feet, we have to remember to press ALT once reaching 4,000 feet to level off. Tango Charlie Papa Delta One, turn left, heading 350. Left turn, heading 350, Papa Delta One. Piper, Papa Delta One, say requested approach at St. Joseph. ILS 35, Papa Delta One. All we did there was turn left more to heading at 350 to get us going in the direction of the airport. If we would have gone 010, we would have gone to the east of the airport. That heading was simply just to take us in that direction. The controller also asked what approach we wanted at St. Joseph. We could have requested a visual approach, could have requested an ILS or a GPS or whatever approach was available. I requested ILS runway 35. Piper Papa Delta One, to turn left, heading tree tree zero, vector two, final approach course. Left turn heading three three zero, Papa Delta One. Since we told the controller which approach we want, he now knows where we need to go. So he's just simply given us a heading to get us on the final approach course. Once we get close to it and get on it, we'll navigate our own. Until that point, he's going to tell us where to go and put us on that final approach course. We've got a little bit of distance to cover. He's just going to give us headings, so we're going to fast forward to the part where we actually get a vector to the final approach course to get on it and actually start the approach. But before we do that, you'll notice I just pressed V loc. Whenever you're getting a radar vector, that's a good time to make sure the localizer is tuned and to put in the final approach course in the HSI. And I misspoke. I said I pressed the VLOC button. I pressed the CDI button to switch between GPS and VLOC. Seminole, Papa Delta One, turn left heading 290. Left 290, Papa Delta One. And as I said before, that's just the heading to get us over to the final approach course. Papa Delta One, descend and maintain 3,000. 3,000. Papa Delta One. Just like air traffic control was moving us left and right to get us on the final approach course, now they're lowering us to get us down to the glide slope intercept altitude. So the next thing that's going to happen, we're going to get another descent, and we're going to get a turn onto the final approach course. We have a little bit of ways to go for that, so we're going to speed up and watch that happen. Piper, Papa Delta One, turn right and intercept the final approach course at Fable. Right turn to intercept, and we'll be able to intercept the course, Papa Delta One. Piper, Papa Delta One, descend and maintain 2,500. Descend and maintain 2,500, Papa Delta One. Notice I have nav selected on the flight guidance computer. With nav selected, when the localizer comes in, the airplane will turn to the right and intercept the course as it's doing right now. And we're staying in nav because we are not cleared for the approach. Once we're cleared for the approach, we'll press approach. 
And for anybody that's seen my videos before, you know when I'm doing an approach, I usually have the approach plate up on the side. I was going to do that, but I elected not to do that since this video focuses on air traffic control. There are other videos that show all that, but this one, I just want to focus on the communication between pilot and air traffic control. Tango Charlie, Papa Delta 1, 3 miles from Tario, maintain 2,500 until established on the glide slope, cleared ILS runway 35 approach. Contact St. Joseph Tower at Tario. Maintain 2,500 until established on the glide slope. Contact St. Joseph Tower at Tario. Papa Delta 1. So now we heard cleared for the approach. Did you hear cleared for the approach? Press the approach mode. But this is only true for an approach with a glide slope or glide path. If you're doing a localized approach or a VOR, you would stay in nav, and then you control altitude on your own. And as we approach Tario intersection, we need to contact St. Joseph Tower. St. Joseph Tower, Tango Charlie, Papa Delta 1, ILS 35, inside Tario. So right there, I just notified the tower that I'm on the ILS approach. I'm inside that fix, meaning I'm between the fix and the runway. Tango Charlie, Papa Delta 1, St. Joseph Tower. Wind 270, tree, cleared to land, runway 35. Cleared to land 35, Papa Delta 1. We only need to read back the pertinent information, like clear to land on a runway. The wind is just advisory, he's telling us. We do not have to repeat that back. Okay, time to fast forward to the landing. And we're fast forwarding here because we should not hear anything else from the tower. We are clear to land. The only time we would hear from them is if maybe a vehicle drives out on the runway and they tell us to go around, or an airplane. The FBO we're going to is on the right. We're going to exit to the right. Normally it's up to the pilot left or right. If they want you to go a certain way, they'll tell you. And as far as which taxiway to turn on, usually the first available that you can turn on safely. Make a turn and get off the runway. Piper Papa Delta 1, exit right when able, contact ground when clear on 121.9er. Right when able, ground 121.9er, Papa Delta 1. Once the entire airplane is beyond the hold short line, we're clear of the runway. Then we can switch over and contact ground. In real life, I was in an airport. An airplane did not go past the hold short line. They had their tail sticking back past it, and I had to do a go around because the guy did not get off the runway. It's very important to go past that hold short line, stop, then call ground. St. Joseph ground, Tango Charlie, Papa Delta 1's clear runway 35 on Bravo, going to express flight. Tango Charlie, Papa Delta 1, St. Joseph Ground. Taxi to express flight via Bravo and Alpha. Bravo and Alpha to express flight, Papa Delta 1. And that's pretty much it. We're watching for airplanes as we would any time. The tower controller or ground controller will also be doing the same. We're going to taxi to the ramp, shut the airplane off, and exit. That's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this. It was fun to make.